Hey everyone, my name is Springhaze, formerly known as Borealis, and welcome to the June edition of Plastic Instruments Monthly, the number one 5 fret news source. Let's not waste any time here and let's get straight into the first topic, personal accomplishments. Starting off, we have the most legendary song in Guitar Hero history, Through the Fire and Flames. This song has been at the center of not one, but two absurd accomplishments this month. First we have... Oh hey, that's me! So yeah, I have seed Through the Fire and Flames at 150% speed. This is the first ever FC of the Smash Hits chart, which completes a full series FC of all of Guitar Hero at 150% speed. The main difficulty of this chart is the forced strumming in all of the verses, which was unforced in the GH3 chart. This requires either a 2-2 rake strum bar with some insane precision, or some schmooey level standard strumming. I of course raked it, as the baby I am. The strumming alone is the reason that this FC took three years since Randy's FC of the GH3 chart at 150. Oh. And speaking of Randy, he got an absolutely insane 100% overstrum on flames at 175% speed. Which, while unfortunate that he couldn't get the FC this month, means that we are well on our way to a new Flames World Record, so be on the lookout. Plate. Checking up on how the plates are doing, we see that players are again doing things that would have been beyond comprehension just a few years ago, such as Friff FCing Panger Overchart and Ian FCing Xenon Plus Plus at 115% speed, which was originally considered impossible at normal speed. Thanks, modern methods! Along with this, we've got Synth Battle vs. Pixel from Friff and Dreamscape 125, 1994 Plus Part 5 160, and Ripen Pairs Progress from Ian. Moving on, we have an FC of Trogdor by Six String Cal GH. Now you might be thinking, how is this a newsworthy accomplishment? It's because this FC was done on an original unmodded NTSC console. How did Cal bypass the 15 no per second strum limit for NTSC? He used an Arduino to send DualShock inputs from a guitar controller. The 5 frets act like regular DualShock inputs, and the strum bar is a switch. When the strum bar is held up or down, inputs can go through. This allows him to strum by interrupting the signal every time the strum bar is used. Cal released his own longer explanation, so feel free to check that out. Next up, we have the guy who vaulted an inverted 3 FC for two years, Shmooey. To the surprise of quite literally nobody, he went on an absolute tear this June, FCing Synth Battle vs. Zeppi, on the first run of the day by the way, Clowns of Dibble Dabble, Hello World VGH, Afterlife 300, Tech FCing Shmootopia, and in Shmooey fashion, adding to the list of Flames related accomplishments by getting a 250% Tech FC of the song. Which, uh, definitely exists, and, uh, yeah, it got taken down by copyright. Maybe a 255% tech FC would bypass YouTube's copyright detection. And last, and most certainly not least, we have the second ever FC of Sola 6. Can we just stop? You, you guys are making me feel bad. This song's not supposed to be possible, okay? Just, just, just stop. Oh, and in case you didn't know, there are some cool things you should download in time for the CH Online to be revamped for Clone Hero version 1.0 such as the 11th installment of the Community Track Pack, CTP11, and Frith's Verified Customs folder. Links to those will be available in the description, so get them now or else you'll be the reason why lobbies have zero songs. We still have some amazing accomplishments to get through, so let's go over them. One of the more underrated accomplishments has to go to Nolan's first ever full game FC of Power Gig on drums, which instead of me explaining, I'll just let this 5 second clip do the talking. That plus the obscurity of Power Gig is the reason why this took so long to happen. Now no one has to ever play this game again, so thank you, Nolan. Next we have everybody's favorite Chiasm FCer, Ace Zero, who came out with another crazy rock band guitar FC, Death in General. Second ever? Wow, someone else got first ever? Hmm. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. All jokes aside, this is absolutely insane and is a really painful grind, so hats off to Ace for achieving this legendary FC and one-man band FC. Since we're talking about Rock Band now, this last month featured two of the most difficult Brutal Mode FCs ever, with Seasons in the Abyss being taken down by King Bryce 98 and Child in Time being done by Christian Fiction. The fact that both of these happened in the same month is absolutely mind-blowing and, you know man, I, I thought I was good at Rock Band, but, you know. I don't know, maybe I am, but just, ugh. While I took down the last remaining on-disc songs for the GH series Full Community 150% Speed FC, there are still some DLC songs remaining, two of which were My Apocalypse from GH3 and Chalk Dust Torture Live from World Tour, which both got taken down by Rob GHH. 
With this, there are only three songs remaining before we can achieve another community milestone, those being the GH3 charts of All Nightmare Long and Operation Ground and Pound, and the World Tour chart of Dueling Banjos. So good luck to anyone who wants to try and take these down yourselves to get yourselves featured in the next Plastic Instruments Monthly. Now, for some full band stuff. This last month, Team Aftermath had three insane full band FCs, two of which were Scatterbrain Live Expert Plus and an Endless Sporadics medley on Expert Plus, both from the Guitar Hero series. Their third FC came from Rock Band, having gotten Death of a Dream by Halcyon Way. The Endless Sporadic medley and Death of a Dream full band FCs were both first ever. Huge congrats to all those who were part of this. Hello everyone, my name is the Butter Danny GH. I am the person editing this video, and I just wanted to throw in a few small things that Spring Haze forgot to mention. So first up, a few cool montages that were released this month, which are Three's Otage, Henry Man 73's Hentage 2021, and Explorer's fourth montage. All of these are just ridiculous montages, and you should all go watch them. The second thing I wanted to mention is Venice CH's FC of Trail Plus Plus. This is just a ridiculous strumming accomplishment. Venna just took Betrayal, made it way harder, and FC'd it within 30 minutes. And I just think it's absurd. All of you should go watch it and subscribe to him because he is an amazing strumming player. In the last segment of this video, we're going to talk about some event-related stuff. The first of which was a community crossover event between the Clone Hero community and the Cubic community. Since COVID-19, cubing competitions haven't really been able to happen, so they've been doing them online. And the first section of a cubing competition has been an exhibition event to show other talents which the cubing community has. So they had me and Carney Jared do a little Clone Hero exhibition for them. Lastly, we have the CSC Elite League Season 2, which started on July 3rd and features all these amazing players playing all these songs. But keep in mind there are some changes coming to the setlist, such as Destination being pushed to 115% speed and Miasma being pushed to 105. Be sure to catch them live on Twitch, since by the time this video is out, the league will have already started, so don't miss it! With that being said, that concludes this month's episode of Plastic Instruments Monthly. This month really showed that you can do just about anything with a plastic instrument. Since according to Frisk's subscriber statistics, you are likely already subbed to him. So feel free to subscribe to my YouTube as well! Thank you so much for watching, and thank you Frisk for having me on this month, and as always, have a day!